Hi guys and welcome to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Drayton Park Golf Club. I'm out on the 16th tee and what I want to film a video on today is talking about how where your pressure is in your feet can affect your swing path. Before we get cracking, if you don't already, all the social media info you need is coming uh, along the bottom of the screen now for the True Golf Academy. So please check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, also the website address on there. Uh, if any of you are abroad and, and do want some lessons, now offer online coaching. So all the details are on the website, so check that one out. So I've just simply got here a couple of um, cushions there, so air cushions, wobble cushions, that are really going to exaggerate uh, the feeling, or not exaggerate the feeling, but really give you the identification of where your pressure is on your feet. Is it towards your toes? Is it towards your heels? Is it right? Is it left? So they work really well. A couple of uh, air cushions that you can pick up pretty cheaply, sort of 30 pounds online uh, or in a, a sports shop somewhere like that. You would see these. So there's a number of ways of doing this. Uh, I'm going to start with the club across my shoulders, then actually go into more of a golf swing movement. But what I see so much of us, I would say the most common is a pressure shift into the trail heel on the backswing. So the club therefore tends to move too much around my body. For every action, there's an equal opposite reaction. So when the pressure goes into the heels and the club's gone too much around the body, the downswing tends to steepen. So we get this figure of eight loop in and then over the top and the pressure ends up shifting too much towards the toes. So we see a pressure shift into the heels, especially the trail heel on the backswing, then towards the the trail toe before then perhaps coming back into the lead heel. So we see this little figure of eight with a pressure shift and we also see that figure of eight with the golf swing. So if we can keep our pressure, it will be shifting towards our trail foot and shifting towards our lead foot. And a pressure shift is very much different to a weight transfer. So I can apply pressure to my foot without shifting my whole body. What I'm really talking about today is the pressure more from heels to toes. So we really want to try and keep the weight quite equal uh, through our shoe or more balls of feet rather than back into the heels. And we're trying to be able to make a golf swing, keeping our pressure there rather than shifting too much towards our toes and falling towards the golf ball. Don't see that a lot on the backswing, but it can happen. We tend to see this steep backswing, tend to see the more common one the pressure shifting back into the heels. Often golfers are even starting with too much pressure into their heels before they even uh, go for the shot. So we see this pressure heel. So what you're gonna do on the air cushions is club shaft across your shoulders, focusing on the ball, put another golf ball or a marker a couple of feet past the ball that you're looking at and just wind up. You'll have seen me do this before. Wind up into a golf swing movement. So this is pointing down two feet outside the golf ball that we're looking at but you can really try and get that steady feeling of where you're pressuring your shoes now we want to go ahead and actually make a backswing movement there started to feel a little bit of pressure going into my heels and if i did you would see my head move away from the ball the club start to swing a lot flatter and there'd be a change in direction on the downswing so it's a great exercise just to try and get used to making some back swings. And it's a lot harder than it looks on these balance cushions. If you were trying to hit some, I'd do it off a tee, but the trouble is it's gonna restrict any folly through movement. So it's really a case of making some slow back swing movements with these more than anything else. Let's just finish up by hitting one. Now that I've got that feeling, as soon as you come off them, you really get more awareness of where your pressure is on your feet. So let me just go ahead. I feel very light on my feet, actually. Just go ahead and hit one. That felt pretty solid, although on the way through, actually, my, I felt definitely felt a little shift of pressure towards my toes and rather than getting that pressure into my left heel. So I'd want to be turning a little bit more, but it's great how using those just for a couple of minutes really gives you the sensation of where your pressure is in your feet. If you enjoyed the content of that video, please do give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for all the other content Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.